Hey guys, Alessio, hope you're well. So in this video, I want to talk to you about Bitcoin and what we're seeing here on this chart of Bitcoin and what this likely means for the crypto as we head into 2024 and beyond. All right, guys, join me. All right, guys, welcome back. Now, before we talk about Bitcoin and the charts, as I'm sure you probably saw in the previous video, I'm not in London. I'm in beautiful, sunny Florida. What a beautiful uh, place to come to and also great weather to come to to make a short video for you about Bitcoin. So as you saw recently, Bitcoin has just recently reached our key targets near the 48K to 50K region there. Now, as you probably know, from the beginning of 2023, from January and February, and even in the spring of 2023, I've been bullish on Bitcoin. Now, I know there's a lot of YouTubers and analysts right now on Bitcoin the last few weeks saying, oh yeah, we're geniuses. We knew all along that Bitcoin is gonna reach these levels. The fact is, guys, ask yourself, where were these analysts and YouTubers 12 months ago at the beginning of 2023. I can tell you exactly what they were saying. They were saying that Bitcoin was gonna crash and it's gonna fall below 10K. The majority of analysts and YouTubers 12 months ago at the start of 2023 were extremely bearish, calling for Bitcoin to go below 15K and 10K. That was the view a year ago. And I went against this view. Here's a very short clip of what I've been saying about Bitcoin from the beginning of 2023. And now as I'm making this video for you, we have a fresh signal on the two week chart of Bitcoin. As you can see here, the MACD indicator is giving us a bullish crossover. Uh, I think the way things are looking right now, as long as Bitcoin stays above the support level, then it could result in significant bullishness and indeed potential uptrend for Bitcoin going to the rest of 2023. So it's a very good sign. I think it's a very positive sign, probably one of the first positive signs we've seen on Bitcoin for a very long time. I think the odds, the probabilities have increased now for a substantially bullish or indeed powerful rally in the price of Bitcoin in the next several months, going to perhaps to the middle to the end of 2023. As long as the support holds, then we could start the next major wave three. Anywhere from within this region here, we could start the major wave three, going to the upside. So the wave three uh, would take us eventually towards much higher levels and potentially even towards the 40 to 50K regions as well. To me at the moment here, it looks, it's beginning to look likely that this is what's playing out. If this is the correct wave count, which I think it is, then wave three could extend much higher, in my view, towards 40K, 50K. But I think it's quite probable in the next several weeks, we might even reach Manuel Bly's target at 47K. I'm still looking for these levels to be tested again at 47,200 to 48K, 48K being the 61.8% retracement of this prior decline. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching that. So as you heard in the videos, we've been calling for Bitcoin to eventually reach our key targets in the 40K, 47 to 48K, and also 50K levels. The sentiment, the mode of thinking, and the episteme of people right now has changed completely. The mental mindset of people about Bitcoin is no longer bearish, it's no longer pessimistic. In fact, the majority of comments on social media is all about, oh, Bitcoin is gonna go to all-time highs, it's gonna go to 100K. So there's a lot of over-bullishness right now in the Bitcoin community. And we saw this coming, you may recall, we saw this exact situation coming several months ago, as I said, that the mode of thinking of people will change. So that's my belief. I think that if it's correct that we're in the beginning of another major bull market on Bitcoin, which I think is quite likely, as long as Bitcoin stays above 20K, I think if Bitcoin continues to rally higher in the next several months, which I think is quite likely, you're gonna see the episteme, the system of thinking change from one of cycles to mechanism. Again, fundamentals, schmundamentals, pushing price up. And you're gonna see comments that are the opposite of what I just showed you in this video. You're gonna see comments saying that Bitcoin can never go back down again. It can only go up and a lot higher. All right guys, now that Bitcoin has reached our targets at the 48K region there. Now you may recall, these are extremely important levels. Now, as you know, if you do a Fibonacci retracement, the 61.8% golden ratio retracement level is approximately at 48K. And that's usually an important level of resistance. The 50K level is a psychological resistance, as we know it's a round number, and round numbers also usually act as some kind of a psychological resistance for price. So I think given that Bitcoin has now reached these levels of resistance, I think it's quite probable and quite likely we're gonna see some kind of pullback. I think a pullback of about 15 to 20% is entirely probable and reasonable to expect. Now, of course, you're probably thinking, well, what if Bitcoin just continues going up higher to all-time highs? Well, that is possible, but the question is, is it probable? Is it likely? And I have to say to you, I think it's not likely. I think on the balance of probabilities, I would prefer to see some kind of a pullback in the next um, few weeks or in the next few months. So I think it's more likely for us to see some kind of a pullback from resistance levels that we've reached recently. Of course, could Bitcoin grind a bit higher, let's say to 50K? Yeah, it could do that, maybe grind a bit higher, but I think it's much more likely, again, on the balance of probabilities, for us to see some kind of a pullback. Again, some kind of a 15 to 20% pullback in price is entirely likely and probable. And by the way, in the member updates, I've mentioned more precise uh, support levels for Bitcoin. Go ahead and check that out. 
And here's the thing, guys. Pullbacks in price are extremely useful and helpful in determining the next likely stage in the market. And this is something people forget. People often assume and think that pullbacks in price are just unnecessary, boring things that happen in the market. No, that is not correct. Because pullbacks can give us clues as to the structure of the market, as to the structure of the Elliott Wave count. So one of the things that I think is extremely important and helpful to us in market analysis is looking at the structure and the size of the pullbacks. So the question we should be asking ourselves right now is what is the structure of the next pullback, of the coming pullback or retracement on Bitcoin? Corrective pullbacks would mean that they're formed of three waves, ABC, and corrective pullbacks, especially if they're overlapping, they tend to be quite bullish for price. Okay, so what I'm trying to say, guys, is that if the next pullback is going to be corrective in nature, composed of three waves, ABC, and especially if it's overlapping, if that happens, and as long as Bitcoin does not break key support levels, that would be very bullish for Bitcoin. However, if the next pullback happens to be impulsive, composed of five waves, all right, guys, as I'm sure you already know, impulsive declines, impulsive retracements are not good signs for price. They would not be bullish because impulsive drops, impulsive declines tend to indicate that a top has been reached and that potentially we could see a reversal in price, a potential bearish reversal. Now, let me say right now at this point, I don't know with certainty or with any degree of accuracy what kind of a pullback we're going to get in Bitcoin. So I cannot say right now whether we're going to get a pullback that's going to be corrective or impulsive. Honestly, it's very difficult or potentially impossible to predict that. So I think it's a good idea to just be patient and let's wait and see what kind of a structure we get in this next pullback or retracement in the next several weeks. By the way, as far as this chart here goes, it's called a sentiment cycle. The sentiment cycle shows the different emotions that people experience uh, in price action. So as you can see in the sentiment cycle, people go from different social moods. So from optimism to pessimism, from greed to fear to euphoria, anxiety, and so on and so on. So I think Bitcoin right now could potentially be entering the last gasp stage, the last climax in its price movement. And again, as I mentioned, the stock market, just because it's called the last gasp or the last climax, does not mean it's short term. This could last several months. In other words, if it's correct that Bitcoin is entering the last gasp stage in this sentiment cycle, then we need to appreciate that this stage of the cycle, again, the last gasp stage, could last several months. And that could take us to the end or middle of 2024. The bottom line here is this, guys, that if in the next several weeks we see a corrective pullback, then that could increase the probability a lot higher that we could reach all-time highs. However, an impulsive decline, if the next move is impulsive, composed of five waves, that would be a very dangerous and risky move for Bitcoin. That could potentially indicate that we're reaching or have reached a top already in Bitcoin. I don't know which one is the correct view right now. Let's just be patient and see which kind of pattern or structure Bitcoin gives us in the next few weeks. All right, guys, I want to wish you a fantastic and a wonderful new year. Make sure you go ahead and check out the member updates because in the member videos and updates, I've explained in more detail uh, the key levels and also the potential wave counts. Hey, guys, making this video for you from Florida Beach. There's gonna be a rocket launch over here in just a few minutes. Look over there. Hope you like this video. Thanks very much.